Okay, yeah, we're given that we have an observer who is at point D, okay? and then wishes to know which one is going to be the height of a cliff, which is here. And then they say, which we are given starting from here to here, they say this is alpha. So this whole thing here is alpha. And then they say, starting from here to here, this is beta. So this is beta, this is alpha. And then they say, which, um, we should determine what is going to be DE in terms of H and alpha. Okay? The first thing that we have to do here is to name all the other triangles, all the other angles in terms of alpha and beta. Okay? So let's start with D2, for example. What will be D2 here, this one here? Why do you expect this? So we expect this one to be the bigger one, okay? which is alpha. Right? So we can come and write which okay, but this one here can be written as alpha minus beta. So this one. Okay, if this one is alpha minus beta, and then remember, okay, this one here, if you look at this thing here, this line and this line, they are going to be parallel to each other. Okay? Both of them are horizontal lines. Right? So this line and this line, even if they didn't say it, but this one and this one, they are going to be parallel to each other. So what do we expect to be E then, if I said that? What do you expect to be this angle here, angle E? Okay, this one here, it's going to be alpha. We expect this one here to be alpha because I get it, this one here, if you make a parallel line, they do as a shape. If you look at this here, this one and this one, they do as a shape. I get yeah, so we expect that one to be alpha, okay. And then if this one is alpha, what do we expect this one to be then, this angle here? This one here is beta. Okay? They are also making a Z shape. Can you see that? Okay? So here's the Z shape. And then this one and this one, they are also going to be equal. Okay. So this one here is beta. Okay? So we got this one. We got this one. We can also get this one in terms of, in terms of alpha. Okay? What can you tell me about these two angles? This one and this one. The angles on a straight line. Okay? So what do you expect this one to be? This is going to be 180 minus R. Okay, sharp. Now we can always get this one. This is the last one that we still have to get. What is going to be this one then? Again, we are going to say this one plus this one plus this one, they are supposed to give us 180. Right? So it means with this one here is going to be 90 minus alpha. So we managed to get all the angles uh, using the given angles. Okay? The given angles is alpha and what and, and beta. So okay, the next thing that we're going to do here is to identify the triangles that we have. So give me the triangles that you have. Zandil, is there any triangle that you see here? Okay, give me the triangle that you see. It's D, DC, this one here. Okay, we have DCE, this one here. Okay, okay we are going to take it out. It's green in color. So here it is. And then here we have nine. Okay? What is supposed to be D1 here? It's 90 minus alpha. What is this one here? E. This one is alpha. Okay, what is this thing here? I think this is D. This is C. And then this is E. What is this DC? It's H. Now, we don't know any other side. This is the only side that we have. Okay. okay um, is there any, Mawel, any other triangle apart from DCE? Which other triangle is there? Yes. It's D F C. Okay, we can go to D C F this one here. And then if we take out that one, uh we are going to have a red one. So it's it looks something like this. So here you have T here. And then here you have C. And then here you have what F. What is this angle here? This one is nine. Okay, sharp. Okay, give me the angles that we have for this one. I think we've named all the angles. What is this one here then? Is this whole thing again? Okay? Starting from here to here. Okay, let's let's write it as 90 minus minus 90 minus alpha again. Okay? And then it's also going to say plus mm. alpha minus beta. Then it makes it to be what then? This one, it makes it to be 90 minus beta. So this whole angle here, starting from here, I agree, starting from here to here, we're talking about that. Angle. This one here is 90 minus alpha. This one here, starting from here to here, is 90 minus beta. Which we could have also got it. I agree, we said this one here is beta. If we go this one plus this one plus this one, is going to give us 90 minus beta. Okay, sharp. Um, that's not the only triangles that we have. And is there any triangle that you see? Here? Okay, which one? It's D, E, F, this one here. 
okay, if we do this, we are going to have something that looks like this. D, E, F. Okay, we take it out. D, E, F. So we have D, E, F. So here you have D, here you have E, and then here you have what? F. Okay, let's name the angles that we have here. What is going to be this angle here? This is alpha minus beta. Okay, what is this angle here? 180 minus alpha. Okay, what is this one here? It's beta. Do we know any side here? On this one. Okay, but on this one, on the red one, we know the side. There's a side that we know again. Okay? It's DC. What is DC? H. Okay. So they say what we should name DE again. And then DE. X, oh, we know X, this one. Okay, sorry about that. So here we know X again. So I need X. Okay, sharp. They say which we should know DE again. Which triangle seems to have DE? Which triangle seems to have DE here? Is green and what and? And blue. Okay, but they said which I should name it in terms of alpha and, and H. And this one here, I can't use the blue one because it doesn't have H. You see that again? If they said I should name it in terms of X, I was going to use this one. But they said which I should name it in terms of alpha and what and and h. So which one am I going to use then? I'm going to go with the green one again. Okay, but this one is a right angle triangle. Because it's a right angle triangle, then it means which we can use trick ratios again. Okay, let's use trick ratios. We have soccer tone. So let's put the soccer tone. We have so ka two uh, something like this again. And then we come and say, let's name the hypotenuse side. Hypotenuse side is the one which is opposite nine again. Which one is the hypotenuse side? Is the in. Okay, this one is the hype side. And then we can come and name the other two sides which are remaining. This one in relation to theta, we're going to use theta as a frame of reference. If we use theta, this one in relation to theta is what? This one. So this one is opposite to theta. And then in relation to theta, this one is what? This one is adjacent to it, adjacent to it. Okay, sharp. Now we are looking for something that is, I get it, now we are looking in terms of H, and then we're also looking for DE. Né? So we're looking for something that is opposite and then it also has an hypotenuse. On our trick ratios here, which one seems to have opposite and hypotenuse? So we can come and say, which is the sign of alpha? Okay? It's going to be opposite. What is opposite? It's H all over. D, E, like this. Okay? We want D as the subject. How would you get D as a subject? We can bring this one here. Okay? It says D, E is going to be given as H all over the sign of alpha. Like this. Eh? Yeah. Okay, they will give us one, two for this. So give yourself two marks as, I, as you can see here. Yeah? Okay, where do we go from here? They say Determine D2 in terms of alpha and beta. What is D2 in terms of alpha and beta? We already got it. Okay? This is going to be alpha minus beta. It's supposed to be two marks even this thing. This one here is going to be alpha minus beta. Okay, next one they say show that H. Okay? H can be given as this thing here. So we're going to use the sign rule. If we're going to use the sign rule, we already know what is this thing here. Remember, this one has DE again. And then this one here also has what? DE. Now, why am I going to use this triangle? I'm going to use this triangle because they want X. You see, they want X again. And then the triangle that seems to have X is only this one. Do you see that again? But I know now what is DE. What is DE? I know DE is H all over the sign of R. Like this. Over. So it means which I have X, I also have this here. And then what am I looking for? I'm looking for H. Okay? If I'm looking for H, now I'm going to use the sign rule. If I'm going to use the sign rule, I get this one is going to go with this one, like this. Can you see that? Okay? These two are going to go together. And, and, and this one is going to go with this one. Are we still fine? Now, if those two are going to go together, let's name this triangle then, because we are going to use the rule again now. So this one here is going to be small letter E. Okay? This one it's Small letter D, and then this one here, yeah? small letter F. Okay, so it means we can say to them F all over the sign of Peter. So we can come and say, okay, this is going to be F all over the sign of Peter, which is sign of F. Okay, 
and then this is going to be equaling to again we said we are going to use this one it means which it's going to be x again all over sign of alpha minus beta like this right? mm -hmm. uh, if it's confusing for you guys okay let, let's not skip steps let's let's say okay we have agree we are taking this too so i wanted to say what f right? all over is going to be the sign of f okay capital letter f and then after that we have small letter d right? all over the sign of d which is this one again okay? when you substitute then we can sub it this way right? Okay, now we can cross multiply. Okay? If you cross multiply this thing, what are we going to have? We have f, okay? which is going to be given as x. We start with the side. Okay? Mm -hmm. Multiply by the sine of beta all over the sine of alpha minus beta. Like this. Okay? okay, now we know what is f. Remember, we know what is f. Okay? Let's go and tell them which one is f. What is f? It's h all over the sine of alpha ne? and then this is going to be equaling to this is said we said it's x multiplied by the sine of beta all over the sine of alpha minus beta like this we want h okay? if you want h what are you going to do then take this one here okay? okay if you take that one there what's going to happen you are going to be left with h which is going to be given as h it's going to say h is going to be equal to x. Right? Okay, x multiplied by sine of alpha multiplied by the sine of beta all over sine of alpha minus what? Beta. Mm -hmm. And then a question like this one, they said it's four marks. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's worth it. Like you are going to get one mark here. Uh, substituting this one, simplification. And then we're also going to get one mark here. And then this is the one that I'm interested in, guys. Guys, even if you can't do all these things here, this is the question that you, like, you see what the, 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 the questions, questions like this one, they are intimidating, even if when you look at the structure. But like, we are always going to get something here. There's always that question whereby if they say X is equal to this, alpha is equal to this, beta is equal to this. So put that one, let's make sure which we get that one. Even if we couldn't show which is this one, when we go to the next question, we know which, okay, this is true. Okay? It's a matter of substitution. You go and substitute where you see X, you go and substitute where you see alpha, you go and substitute where you see beta. Okay, let's do that then. If we do that, we are going to say, okay, instead of X here, what are you going to put here? You put 250, okay? Multiply by the sign. Instead of alpha here, what are you going to put? Put 65. Multiply by. It's the sign of what? Of date. All over. The sign of what of 65 minus minus 18. Yeah, and then umpawalo is a total one, and then you come and write this thing exactly the way it is. So you have 250 okay? multiplied by sign of 65. Okay? Close bracket. Multiply by sign of 13. Close bracket. All over. It's sign of 65 minus. 18, close bracket. And then you put, you get, you put an answer there. What is your answer? What did you get as your answer? It's 197,51. And then it's in meters. I gave this thing in meters. Right? So we're going to use that you need. And then you get your three marks, just like that. And then for this one, we're also going to come and do the following. Then let's do activity number seven. As we finish our worksheet then.